Um, so my name is Cindy Chao. I'm born and raised in China. I'm a um, visual artist, mainly works in photography. Um, Our Land is a ongoing photography series and they are portraits of the fleeting layers of leaves, fruits, seeds, and twigs on the ground in the area between two steps in urban green spaces. It's a record of the limited areas of soil found in public parks, botanical gardens, and sidewalk tree beds in three major urban cities, New York, London, and Los Angeles. The fallen foliage, flowers, and fruits turn the land into an ephemeral canvas that documents the ongoing negotiations and reconciliations between urban human life and the forces in nature, gravity, wind, sunlight, and rain. There are traces of activities and hints of the time of the year and places, a hidden, a nibbled acorn from a squirrel, a leaf blown from across the field, or a pile of industrial mulch. Throughout the series, the typography of the ground shifts in tonality, structure, density, luminance, mirroring the paradoxical feeling I also have about land, feeling displaced geographically, culturally, and emotionally, but at the same time, also feeling grounded at all and uplifted by the nurturing power shared by all land. In this special edition of slideshows, I invite everyone to take a moment um, to immerse yourself in the complex in the complexity of our living system, but also of the complexity of one's emotional ground. So I will show my work now and um, I can talk a little bit more about it afterwards. Okay, so um, so I hope everyone saw that. Um, so that is a slideshow that I made um, for the symposium. And as you can see, it's roughly um, organized in the order of four seasons um, to show the um, cycle of life um, that are happening not just on each image on the ground, but also um, on the scale of time. 
And um, I would really love to um, hear your feedback and comments if you have any um, in the chat uh, while I, I talk a little bit more about um, why I made this series of work. Um, so I am from China and in, in Chinese language, there are a lot of concepts um, that are uh, directly about our relationship with nature and our relationship with land. Um, in particular, there's a phrase called 接地气, which literally uh, translate to being connected with the essence of the land. Um, so, you know, this is why when people live, it's so important to live near nature and um, being having that access um, to, to the ground beneath your feet. And uh, when I moved to New York several years ago, um, I noticed um, just living in urban environment, I, I constantly feel um, the yearning for more natural spaces. And that's how um, I start to explore and pay more attention to um, the limited green spaces in the city. Um, and what caught my eye is that for the different places I've been to, how different um, the plantations and the flowers, the trees are, and, and in turn, how, how different the, the ground looks of everything that fallen on it. Um, so that really fascinates me. And I was really um, amazed by the complexity of everything that is um, happening on the ground. And um, one thing I in particular appreciate is that, um, especially in fall and winter, um, you can, um, you witness a lot of decaying of um, the leaves, the twigs, and the fruits and seeds on the ground. And um, it's natural for us to feel is a um, sad feeling, but in, in actually it is a necessary part of nature. And it's within that there's great power of um, regrowth and regeneration um, hidden in the um, layers of decaying. Um, so I, I feel a lot of, um, I feel very grounded in, in looking at that and taking the time to really observe what's below your feet. And those are, some of the images are from, for those of us in, in New York, are in Central Park. Um, those are, you know, the, the, the tree beds on the sidewalk. Um, so it's all, um, it's accessible to all of us. And that's why um, I named the series Our Land, not as a claim of um, ownership of, of humans' dominance over nature or over land, but um, more so as a reminder of um, the shared feeling of all land and how all the living things are, are connected by land. And also perhaps a reminder of our shared responsibilities to our environment and our nature. Um, and I think through, um, one thing I wanted to mention is that this series is entirely um, composed on an iPhone. Um, so I do not, I don't compose any, I don't move the things on the ground. I only capture what I, see. So as an artist, all I, all I did really is to frame the view. And I think that is a, um, that is the reason why I like photography and why I think photography could be a powerful approach is that you, in a way, you're paying respect to what is there and what is um, already in front of you. And um, it's a humbling, um, it's a humbling approach to create. Um, by only framing and by providing a perspective of seeing rather than uh, manipulating uh, what's actually on the ground. Um, and uh, it's all the fact that I used iPhone um, is, is also a statement of saying um, image making really um, is about your eye and your way of seeing rather than the equipments you're using. 
and technologies are often um, placed as the opposite end of nature or of the environment. Um, but you know, with urbanization being an undeniable trend, um, there is something, and with technology presented in um, so much aspects of our lives, we could use technology as a tool to help us increase our mindfulness as well and increase our um, attention um, to the land that is um, in our everyday life um, and um, perhaps could fulfill our yearning for nature in the natural, in the urban environment.